this video will be the first video in at least a two-part series. Let's play China Parking Lot Challenge. Now, as you're watching the video, you might want to tell me, well, yeah, okay, some of those cars are foreign companies, but uh, they're made in China. But just remember this. If you look up the largest company, they're going to give you the rank, the company name, and the country. They're not going to say, oh, well, the cars were made over here. Like, for instance, Toyota is number one. Volkswagen Group, Germany, number two. Number three, Hyundai, South Korea. Number four, General Motors, United States. And number five, Ford of United States. Okay, I call this the parking lot challenge. I'm at Shenzhen University and uh, it's not that well attended yet still. Uh, I think because of the virus, but uh, classes have started. And uh, I'd like to challenge anybody, if anybody watches this video from Japan or United States, pick a parking lot, walk through, and let's see if there's more Chinese cars where you are, or there's more Japanese or American vehicles here. Let's take a quick look. Okay, we got a BMW, Volkswagen, another BMW, Honda, uh, <laughs> I don't know what that one is, I think it must be some Chinese brand. Here's a Buick. Buick. That looks like it must be another Chinese brand. I'll look those up later. Here's a Nissan. Volvo. Another Buick. There's a BYD, that's definitely a Chinese brand. That's, I think, their number one brand over here. Go to the other side, and here's another definitely Chinese brand. I don't know what the name Oh, it's a BYD. I think that's the model, the emblem you see there. Another Honda. Another Volvo. Here's a Toyota. Mercedes. Another Honda. That one I'll have to look up. I'm guessing Chinese. BMW. Honda. And here we have a Ford. Ford. There's another, another Buick over here. And that looks like a. Well, that's. I'm not sure. Another Toyota, Volkswagen, and their Volkswagen. Another Toyota. Another Volkswagen. Guessing Chinese brand. BMW. Audi. Mercedes. BMW. Ford. Volkswagen. A Mini Cooper. Toyota. Audi. A Nissan. So 
Suzuki. And another Toyota. Another Buick. Another one of these funky. BYD, BYD. Toyota. A VW. Another BMW, and uh, there's not many cars here today, so I'll have to do this test again in another, maybe a mall parking lot. Another VW. I know the cars that you'll see in the parking lot are somewhat uh, representative of the people who are driving them, which this is all either students or teachers. Uh, not a big income, I guess. Probably both of those groups. And you can see that much of the parking lot is still empty right now. But here's another Toyota. Toyota truck. Another Toyota and a Nissan. So I'm going to conclude this here for, for now. I don't think this is a very good representation and certainly a little bit too much walking in between vehicles. Uh, but it's an interesting challenge to see uh, where are the cars in China coming from compared to, oh, there, look at that, there's a Cadillac. Caddy. And Honda. And what, oh, this is a Jag? Um, yeah, I'm just thinking it's interesting to see where the cars in China are coming from compared to uh, Japan or United States. Um, I think in, in Japan, I've been there several times and uh, I saw mostly Japanese cars. I didn't see, I don't remember seeing any Cadillacs. Or maybe a Buick, I'm not sure, but certainly not a, a big mix of vehicles. Um, United States has a bigger mix, but uh, probably mostly Japanese and American. So, just a comparison or a um, challenge to uh, anyone who watches the video to see if your country produce, uh, drives more Chinese vehicles and I'll make a list of the Chinese vehicles. And then you can look around, see if you see any of the Chinese vehicles where you are and how the number compares to uh, how many Chinese people are driving cars from, from your country. Okay, thank you. Take care. Okay, so this wasn't really scientific. It's done in just one specific place, a school. So it might be leaning one way or another. Uh, there's only about 54 cars, but uh, as you can see, there's only about 14% of them, or eight cars, were Chinese, or mixture of different Chinese brands even. So we have a couple of different American brands, GM and Ford. Um, it's I normally see a lot of different vehicles on the road, so I will definitely do this test again or this uh, challenge. It, it is a challenge. I want anybody to see uh, if you're watching this video, wherever you're from check your parking lot i will uh give a list i don't have it right now i will give a list of chinese um, vehicles and you can check how many chinese vehicles are uh, compared to the vehicles that china's driving from your country what's in your parking lot <laughs>